A very safe and good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 29th March, Sunday. On the front page, you have government shifts focus to hotspots as fresh COVID-19 cases rise to 185. So here you can see now hotspots are being paid attention to. These are that means these are high disease burden areas. So the details of these will be announced by the health ministry soon. And the center and state will work on strengthening community surveillance to contact tracing and on the containment strategy. So there's no change in testing strategies, what ICMR has stated. Kerala also reported its first death now in Ennapoli due to COVID-19. So the testing strategy has been that those who are having symptoms would be tested and those who have mild symptoms and those who are probables like you know who have come in contact with COVID-19 cases all of them would not be tested. And uh, here you have the news that Prime Minister has set up new fund to fight virus. So Prime Minister has called for donations to newly instituted PM Cares Fund which he says has been formed on popular demand to fight the novel coronavirus. So he says people from all walks of life express the desire to donate to India's war against COVID-19 and respecting that spirit Prime Minister's citizen assistance and relief in emergency situa situations fund has been set up. Which, which is acronymed as CARES. So he says this fund will cater to similar distressing situations if they occur in the times ahead. So it is not a one time fund, the money will be accumulated. If it's not spent on COVID 19, it will be used in future on similar such cases. And the chairman of the trust, which has been formed for this, it's a public charitable trust as. The fund has been formed as a public charitable trust and it will have Prime Minister as a chairman and members include Defence Minister, Home Minister and Finance Minister. Already there is Prime Minister's National Relief Fund for an identical purpose but a new fund has been established. Then it, this says we were proactive, preemptive. So Centre claims that we were proactive and preemptive and not lenient towards foreign travellers when accusations have come forth. Then here you can see how people are you know, waiting for boarding buses on Delhi Uttar Pradesh border after UP government started flying buses to evacuate those stranded in the capital following the nationwide 21 day lockdown. So this defeats the entire purpose of the lockdown. On international page, again, you have COVID-19 news about how virus infections have now affected 6 lakh globally. So numbers keep on changing as days pass. And on business page also, it's continuation of old news. So it's fine. Then on Sundays, you have science and technology coverage. So here the first coverage is silent spread of novel coronavirus in Italy went undetected for weeks. It is said by the first time the first case was reported, the virus had already spread to most areas in southern Lombardy. So the detection of the first cases was very much delayed and it spread throughout Italy. So this is regarding about the coronavirus. It says strike at the spike and win the war. So the spikes made of glycoprotein are the business end of the virus. So if the glycoproteins are affected, the virus will no longer be infective. So this is the science behind how to tackle coronavirus and such. And how population size shapes evolution pattern in E. coli. So this is a study on how large populations tend to evolve into exercising fitness trade-offs. So studying cultures of E. coli bacteria, a group of evolutionary biologists from IISER of Pune have found that population size determines a kind of fitness trade-offs the microbes adopt. So fitness, fitness trade-offs like you know, organisms do not have capacity to maximize all their functions at the same time. So often when they enhance one function, another suffers. Or when they, when they adapt to survive well in one environment, they cannot survive or reproduce well in another environment. So these are called fitness trade-offs of evolution. So a study has been undertaken on that on E. coli vaccine.
and this is how artificial intelligence can aid eye testing so a tool has been developed by google to detect diabetic retinopathy and an international team of researchers and google have worked together on this so artificial intelligence in medicine this is important then on sundays you have this faq coverage in which important issues throughout the week are covered up in detail so the first one is can drugs for ebola be used to treat covid 19 so what are the medicines being considered for the novel coronavirus pandemic so that is detailed out here and this is regarding the stock market it has been very volatile how long will the bear face it is in downward trend so how long will this phase last that is covered here which is again temporary so, okay. we know it is due to coronavirus that stocks markets are down and this so you can skip this article actually and this is why has kerala sought a relaxation of frbm rules so when can norms of frbm fiscal responsibility and budget management act be flexible and how will it help so it gives more money in the hands of the government to respond to such crisis situations so kerala has relaxed frbm rules it is detailed out here when it has been demanded the centers should also relax frbm rules so that there is more money which can be used to fight covid 19 and on sundays you also have dispatches coverage in which international news are covered up so this is favelas left to fight it alone in brazil so in Brazil, uh, the vast shanty towns are facing the twin threat of deadly coronavirus and hunger. So, this is the situation here. The upper crust shows little interest as such in what's going on here. You can see. They are called favelas. The coronavirus is spreading here in Brazil as such. No? You can skip this. This is also regarding a movie. You can skip it and again this is regarding afghan's afghan six the recent terror attack claimed by islamic state on a gurudwara in afghanistan so it says for afghan six it's between violence and exodus so sikh community leader says the latest attack on a gurudwara will prompt more of them to flee the country and this is regarding Solidarity from two meters away. So, Sri Lankan editor has started an online journal to collate stories about life during the lockdown. So, important here is this Afghan case, which we have already seen earlier when the terror attack news came, and its consequences are covered here. So, that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website, ASHA.org. Thank you.